Well, welcome back to Brand Sushi Life on Dings. Uh, we're gonna continue from the last time where we have we are using begin for each component loop, and we have end for each component loop, and we all have also at uh, this thing at the end. Let's sim simplify the whole thing. Um, simply delete this, so we just have something that looks like a kind of like a Lego bricks, each with random extrusions. How about instead of using grid, we're gonna use a simple plane file save as so it's gonna be a demo of loop over loop. So we're gonna use loop on top of another loop. Um, so with this plane, if I plug this in, we just gonna have a simple plane being extruded. We can set the size, of course, and we can actually use subdivide over here, outside of the loop. And look, uh, look what we have. It's uh, cool. It's interesting. It's it's actually more controllable than grid. Some somehow um, you can, for example, use a cube, simple cube, and then you subdivide the cube, and you have something like that subdivide it once or you can use smoothing and you can also use fractal so it's totally up to you let's uh, create property file save so this is already starting to look a little bit more interesting what I found however even more interesting is that if we use select random outside this actually will affect the inside I don't know why sometimes this works sometimes doesn't maybe it's a bug but let's select I want to select um, all beforehand so I always select see if I select all beforehand and deselect this guy actually works maybe this is a some kind of bug Okay, so these objects, we can control the percentage, 50%, randomize the seed. So that's a little bit better. And how about if we are doing um, loop over a loop? So we have this begin and end. What if we select all of this and then duplicate it? So in we are kind of iterating over the same thing. But whatever in between, we're gonna also deselect and then select random. So this is gonna be easier to understand if we use frame. So object in, object out, select the one at the very end, set preview. Okay, so it loops over this guy, um, just the value is too big, so maybe I need to enlarge this for now. And I believe this should be smaller value. This one can be a little bit bigger. So it's definitely doing a lot of extrusions. But we, since we are selecting, for example, fifty percent over here, and we select if we select another fifty percent over here, we we are selecting less and less. Unless if we go like full over here. Huh, okay. And here we can have longer extrusions. Okay, so I'm kind of wondering if we can do one more time. I think I tried this before, and if I were to do this once again, it's gonna crash. There must be a better way and more efficient to do this kind of uh, repetitions. It's almost like 
this is like iterations no we, we can use for loop for this but this is not a fractal it's not recursive yet so deselect once again and select even smaller value 50 percent this goes in but if uh, if i'm selecting 100 percent it's probably gonna crash but since i'm selecting less and less this is still still gonna work or maybe not maybe it's not gonna work let's create another blender so there must be a limit or a better way to do this kind of complex looping because we we started from a box but we subdivide it once and we select every phase and extrude it and the next extrusion will be more phase to extrude and so on so I have another blender open let's go oh where did I save it oh okay it's actually working save as oh I save it in that folder so this one is kind of heavy but you can see a lot of interesting thing happening it's almost like a fractal so don't go further more unless you have a powerful computer so three times looping and this kind of thing you can of course create it as a single loop and you iterate over it a couple of times so instead of doing it this way you really could have just used a simple loop while set as this is pretty complex by the way um, so begin for loop and end for loop it's pretty complex but it's, it's really simplified a lot so you want the objects goes in and then this one goes out like that we have end loop this goes there iterations let's try one time hopefully it works okay it works so that's nice but this one we will we want to select less each time 60 percent or 70 okay iterate it again and again supposedly the value so this one seems to be performing a little bit better i don't know i think even at iteration three it's gonna get really slow Yeah, it's gonna be better just do it properly. So you, get, you just need to be really careful with this. It's, it might take a while with four or five iterations and you're gonna get smaller and smaller. At some point you don't, you kind of wanna stop it at least we don't get into infinite loop so yeah we can yeah so this is interesting i think it's very interesting it's almost like a l3 fractal it's kind of like a tree growing uh, if you make this larger what's gonna happen here inside of this component loops you want to get the value that's kind of right and if you want to do extrusion like a, in this case we are using inset maybe we are only selecting the part that's not the actual inset and it's gonna we're gonna have a better result what I mean is that if we have inset over here 
we inside have a lot of options we can actually select just the inset and then invert invert the selections maybe so insert select just the inset and check the result see different result maybe select toggle so here select we are gonna be using select all but just toggle and put it put it there same thing with this guy duplicate it so yeah probably much cleaner Let's try iterating over this. Well, four times iteration still taking a while. But yeah, we end up with something like this and we can randomize the seed and we get a different result. And then try to generate this over and over. Or instead of using just a simple cube, you can use your own 3d mesh and this is kind of like a gribble kind of like a gribble on top maybe you don't even need to use extrusion you can just place like the random objects on top of the face and that's a uh, that's gonna give you interesting look anyway that's my boss my blender is frozen it's uh, interesting to learn about this loop and it's you see how easy you can do this yourself um, visually using nodes even though this is something that's kind of complex so yeah um, yeah give it a try yourself but be careful it's uh, your blender might be frozen like this uh, but you're gonna have interesting result all right thanks again for tuning in and I'll see you next time thank you bye